Have you heard about the recent developments with the AstraZeneca vaccine? Let's take a step back and talk about Covishield and Vaxavria, two vaccines developed by AstraZeneca. They were introduced as a beacon of hope in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Across continents, these vaccines have played a pivotal role in curbing the spread of the virus, protecting millions of lives in the process. The widespread use of Covishield and Vaxivria has been instrumental in the global vaccination campaign. They've been administered in clinics, hospitals, and even pop-up vaccine sites in remote areas, reaching people far and wide. AstraZeneca's vaccines have been celebrated for their accessibility and efficacy. They've been a cornerstone in our collective effort to return to a sense of normalcy after the upheaval caused by the pandemic. But recently, AstraZeneca has acknowledged a rare but serious risk associated with these vaccines. So, what exactly is this risk that's been recently acknowledged? Let's dive into the world of thrombosis thrombocytopenia syndrome, or TTS for short. This is a rare but serious adverse event that can occur following specific COVID-19 vaccines. Picture this. It's an unusual combination of blood clots and low levels of blood platelets, which can occur together and cause significant health risks. Now you might wonder how this links to the vaccines. Well, the World Health Organization, or WHO, recognized TTS as a serious adverse event related to adenovirus vector vaccines back in 2023. The vaccines that fall under this category include AstraZeneca's Covishield and Vaxivria. The connection between these vaccines and TTS has led to a lot of discussions and research in the medical world. It's a rare occurrence, but it's serious enough to warrant attention and study. Despite this risk, it's important to remember that TTS is a rare occurrence. Now, what are the latest updates on this matter? Well, in a recent turn of events, AstraZeneca has openly acknowledged a rare but serious risk linked to its Covishield and Vaxevria vaccines. This risk is associated with thrombosis thrombocytopenia syndrome, or TTS, a condition that involves blood clots and low platelet counts. This makes it a fresh addition to the list of adverse events related to adenovirus vector vaccines, a category that also includes these particular AstraZeneca vaccines. However, it's essential to note that the occurrence of TTS is quite rare. So, while it's a point of concern, it doesn't necessarily imply that these vaccines are inherently dangerous. On the flip side of this discussion, we have a noteworthy statement made by Union Health Minister Mansouk Mandavia in March 2024. He pointed out that a detailed study conducted by the Indian Council of Medical Research, or ICMR, showed no direct correlation between COVID-19 vaccines and heart attacks. Rather, he attributed such incidents more to individual lifestyle factors rather than the vaccines themselves. So, where does this leave us? Well, it's clear that the understanding of these vaccines and their effects is still evolving. So, what does all this mean for us? Let's take a moment to recap the key points we've discussed. AstraZeneca, the pharmaceutical giant, has acknowledged a rare risk of thrombosis thrombocytopenia syndrome, or TTS, associated with its Covishield and Vaxivria vaccines. This is a rare but crucial detail to understand. The World Health Organization, or WHO, has recognized TTS as a serious adverse event linked to adenovirus vector vaccines. This development came to light in 2023 and is an essential piece of information that has shaped our understanding of these vaccines. However, more recent developments suggest a different narrative. In March 2024, India's Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia stated that a detailed study by the Indian Council of Medical Research, or ICMR, concluded that COVID-19 vaccines are not responsible for heart attacks. Instead, these events were attributed to individual lifestyle factors. As we navigate through these times, it's crucial that we remain informed and proactive about our health. Stay informed, stay safe, and remember to always consult with healthcare professionals when it comes to your health.